Matt Serra has run his mouth enough to where all I want to do is hit it now. I think that's the only way I, I can I can shut him up is, is to hit him in his mouth. There's nobody in the world I'd rather fight right now. As a person, I don't really respect him much. But uh, on the night of May 23rd, I'm going to give him something to respect. He only got him again! This is a real, real grudge match. What a dick. These guys have been talking shit about each other back and forth for over a year and a half now. I don't like the guy. The guy, is, he's, I, I don't think he's a good guy. He's such a, a dick of a person. It's just basically what I think of you and how I see you treat other people. Did you make that hat yourself? He's just a terrible ambassador for the sport. I got an idea. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> this is my idea. I don't know. He's just a smug dude, man. Oh. So this is a fight that's been building up for quite some time. Matt Hughes, after the Tiago Alves fight, after a fight where he was beaten, he still wanted to bring up the Matt Serra fight. Well, Joe, I tell you this for sure. I've got one more fight left in me. And uh, Matt Serra needs to come up with a game plan now. I'll tell you that. Matt Serra wants Matt Hughes as well. Matt Serra has said over and over again that he thinks Hughes is a dick, that he doesn't like him as a person, that he wants to kick his ass. Matt Hughes, he, he is a dick, and uh, he's a very talented dick, but I'm looking forward to the fight. I feel like a winner already, just knowing I get to hit him in his face. This can only end one way. This can only end with one man getting his hand raised and the other man having to eat crow, and, and we're gonna find out.